What's going on guys? Well, I'm back at it again. This time I'm doing a tabletop. The person that I'm doing it for, she said that she wants it to kind of look like marble. She said she don't want it exact. She says she don't want nothing. No pattern. She wants it to be just random. And she wants black and white. She wants the base color, the main color to be black. And she wants the veins to be white with just a very, very subtle shade of uh, light blue. So the light blue that I'm going to use is going to be uh, Seaside. We'll see how that looks. Anyway, let me get over here and mix up my epoxy and we'll get to it. Now when you're mixing your epoxy and gets level out of the way, you want to make sure you hang on to the tub. Because if you go in and stick this drill in here and you start spinning it, it's going to sling epoxy everywhere because this is thick and it's going to grab a hold of the container. You want to mix it with a drill for about two minutes. Mixing it by hand, do it for about 10 minutes. This amount anyway, it's 64 ounces. I know it's a little more than what I need, but I'm going to put some in some separate containers for my color. Anyway, let me mix this up. Let me get this off my project here real quick. Just a minute. I'll leave it right there. So you guys can see. Anyway, I'll take a paint stick. Let me get this drill out of the way. I'll take a paint stick and I'll scrape all that unmixed epoxy off the sides. And I'll also scrape the bottom. You can see the unmixed epoxy in there. Now I'll put my drill back in there and go the other way with it for a few minutes. All right. First things first, I want to get some epoxy in these three containers. see like back here. I can't see back my head or nothing. Okay, so you can only see the table. Pretty much. right here for a minute. Trent, hmm. hold this right here for a minute. Don't squeeze it. out of the way. Now we want to get this out on our work surface. I'm going to scrape this container. When you do this, make sure you scrape it off into your mass of epoxy because there's going to be some unmixed epoxy in this as long as you scrape it off 
into this mass right here. You can remix it. The camera can't see it, but right here you can see unmixed epoxy. Now I'll get my epoxy all the way up to the edge without going over the edge yet. Done with the trial. Now I gotta get my chop brush. I have a mask right here, so I'll use that. You also have a brush right there, Dad? I have my brush, huh? Right there. Yeah. First thing I do is I take care of my sides. You gotta turn the heater that way, bro. I can't have a bow on this. It's just gonna keep on working. You gotta turn it the other way. If the area around your project that you're working on is clean, what spills off, you have a reservoir you can use. If you have to. In the sense of wasting the epoxy that's down there. I've done this look one time before. But I've done it with different colors. First thing I want to do is torch it to get rid of the bubbles. take my white spray paint and I'll spray it straight in my cup so that little reservoir of epoxy that I got mix it up real good and just
Take a little bit of this blue. We'll mix it up really, really good. Now, don't want a lot. Let me see what that looks like. I mean, you can play with it any way you like to get the colors to do what you want them to do. I might put a little black in the center of that white. Maybe I won't. Maybe in a couple spots. You know what? I think I'm going to torch it and be done with it. Come on, I got to take care of the black that I did put in here. Let me torch it real quick and I'll get the camera down off the tripod, give you a closer look.
Okay, let me get you down off this camera real quick. I mean, tripod real quick. Okay. Sorry about the glare from these lights. Let me see if I can get you some detail here. They wanted sales, they got them. Anyway, there's the, see if I can get this whole thing in the frame here. There's that, and here's what I went off of. Let me see if you guys see this any better. This is the sample that I've done for them. But this don't have the blue in it. This does. They said they wanted a lot of white. Well, they got it. Edges look good. Anyway, if you guys get any value out of any of my videos, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me get a little bit higher in the queue, and I'm trying to get monetized, and I think I have 304 subscribers now, so thank you to the recent subscribers and all my original subscribers. You guys are the reason it's going to happen. And uh, if you're watching and you haven't got subscribed yet, get yourself subscribed. Ring that notification bell. That way... You know, you'll get a notification every time a video does come out. I'm trying to do one or two every weekend. I work way too many hours during the week to be able to do this on a weekday. So I'm trying to cram as much as I can into a weekend. Today, though, was my son's birthday. He's 11. And uh, anyway, as always, I thank him. Good night and God bless.